afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? I'm the Grand Master, and I also go by D-Ray. Uh, today, we have the battle in the BBR against JB Westside. JB motherfucking Westside. Yeet Squad! <laughs> um, it's gonna be a fun game. We're very laxed here moving forward. Uh, from the standings, we have officially been eliminated from contention. Which is unfortunate. You know, it is what it is. Um, it sucks to have... A season where you're on top of the world in finals to down at the dumps and playing like absolute garbage but you know all of this comes with a grain of salt all of this I'm gonna take as a learning experience um, as I pile on to the draft leagues we have moving forward so I'm actually very grateful for getting kicked in the face punched in the mouth because sometimes you just need to get checked you just need to get checked and um, it's cool to, to, to finally get it and uh, I'm glad that you guys are still sticking around shout out to the beautiful people that watch all of my videos you guys are the true MVPs I do try my very best to bring you guys the best content you can consume from spending the the short period of time you have with me with these videos it doesn't go unnoticed i appreciate you guys taking that time throughout your day i want to make the best of it so thank you guys so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart if you're excited for this matchup do me a massive favor and shadow claw that thumbs up button and if you're new por favor hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications hit the bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video um we're gonna talk about the team we're gonna bring and why we're gonna bring it and if you notice above me we have reached final form um i said fuck it <laughs> and we uh ripped apart the team again right before the deadline to change teams at the first two games where we're 2-0 and the team looked great everything looked fine um but there's massive holes in that team they were too physically offensive too incredibly passive tornadus isn't supportive the way it should be drake only has sand and can't really do what it wants to do because it limited switch-ins and so we tried to work the tiers as as best we could but we're limited in our options and that's fine it's a different approach we had this season not a big deal um but we struggled moving forward and um there's some sheer there's some good competition in this league and i have 80 percent of the time fucked it up <laughs> myself so uh no one to blame but ourselves it's fine uh again like i said before we're gonna take this with the learning experience the new additions that we have to the team we've got slow bro colossal is back on the team which is really nice shout out to sir jorge d great for trading us back colossal and giving us his slow bro in exchange for Sneasel and Volcanion. And in order for me not to lose the Psychic Types, even though it's not a very good Psychic Type check, we picked up Morgrim. <laughs> That's our Dark Type. We still don't have a Grounded Poison. Uh, it is what it is. Um, can't win them all. So, you know, it is what it is. This is the team we're going to rock with for the rest of the BBR. We're just going to have a good time, play nice and relaxed, and uh, kind of see what, what can happen. I mean, you never know. Maybe two coaches that are on the, the 7 and 8th seed, I believe right now, are like Vepsis and Davion. If they can completely tank and just don't win another game maybe there's a chance <laughs> but honestly i believe we have been mathematically eliminated so we're just gonna have a good time be re be relaxed and uh, play some pokemon so let's talk about jb's team down below he's got dragonite as of nido queen he's got zarud he's got gardevoir big threat frostlass agron lapras double <laughs> war turtle and chunky chew pikachu um the pokemon that i think he's gonna bring i think he has to bring both of his psychic types gardevoir and the azelf um because my steel type is berserker and my dark type is morgrim so those pokemon rip my team to absolute shreds um i do expect the dragonite because it is his best pokemon in his team and did queen especially offensive with life orb is very scary against my squad uh because my special walls don't do too well against it because slow bros could be um spideff and it is spideff but it does get coverage like thunderbolt um colossal in the sand extremely spideff but obviously stab earth power is a thing four times super effective so very scary offensively um so i think he brings dragonite both of the psychics um nido queen zarud is a pretty solid check to be able to switch in to uh, to try to switch into bolt beaks um but it does get rocked by tornadoes but i do think it brings the zarud and then for the sixth pokemon i could probably expect agron because um it's very thick and it gets stealth rock and it can hit me really hard with health sma with a head smash honorable mentions maybe he brings the lapras it could be a pretty solid bring 
on his part. Um, and double, I think, would be that the Pokemon that come if it's not the six Pokemon that we do expect. So, with that being said, let's hop into the team. The first Pokemon we're going to bring is going to be Tornadus. We have Torn, Trinidad, shout out to Roman. We have Hurricane, Knockoff, Icy Wind, and U-Turn with Heavy Duty Boots and the Regenerator ability. Um, this set is pretty solid. Icy Wind is there for the Dragonite. It does drop down the speed to avoid him setting up with his uh, Dragon Dances. U-Turn is there for Momentum. Knockoff is to get rid of items to get chip damage and get out of there. Hurricane is for big damage. I feel really uncomfortable running Hurricane, but you know, it is what it is. We want to be able to do massive damage to his team. Uh, it one-shots the Zerud. It does massive damage and it one-shots the Azelf because that thing is paper frail. And Knockoff is going to be pretty solid for the, uh, the vast majority of the rest of his team for cleaning up with a uh, Hurricane. So we have enough speed to outspeed as elf by one point um so anything that is scarfed is going to outspeed but that way we can scout for that so tornadoes is going to be pretty solid next mod that we have is going to be clefable we have esperanza this is aria we have moonblast flamethrower soft blood and teleport we have 244 in hp 168 in defense 4 in special attack and 92 in, spe and, uh, in special defense so this is here to check the dragonite it is unaware in case he wants to boost up dragon dances very very clutch um heavy duty boots is there to build the fake out that we are magic guard and to be able to not get wore down by toxic spikes because again i don't have a ground of poison and that is going to be the death of us moving forward because grounded poisons are extremely important i will no longer draft another team that does not have a grounded poison muy importante or a good grounded poison anyway uh nido king i used to love nido king and i don't know why i stopped using that pokemon that's I want to. I gotta start using the Pokemon that do best to me, and try to stop using new stuff. Cause shit ain't working in the NCP. Shit ain't working in the BBR. We just gotta go back on what we know. So just draft shit that it actually works. D-Ray, draft shit that actually works. So yeah, soft boiled is there to save for longevity. Teleport is there to catch some stuff on the switches. Uh, we do threaten out the Zerud. We sw we threaten out the Dragonite. Uh, we threaten out the uh, those two Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Flamethrower is there for the Agron as well as um, the. Um, Double, double does get fluffy, but it makes it weak to fire. So, pretty solid. Uh, next Pokemon that we are going to be bringing is going to be Thicky Cheese. God, I wish that. I I'm sorry, Dragazolt. I'm gonna for sure draft you again moving forward. I love this Pokemon, and I'm not doing it justice. I was so excited to use it this season, and I'm just playing like garbage. And we for sure will be picking it up again. And we'll be putting better work with it. So, Dragazolt, one of our best Pokemon. I love this mod. I actually, I'm enjoying. Dracozolt more than I am Dracovish. Because in theory, it's better. Because Dracozolt just clicks Fish's Rend. And well, there's better coverage here. So it's unfortunate for sure. Thicky Cheese will get you back, bro. We'll get you back, bro. So uh, we're going to we're gonna <laughs> just limp on <laughs> and try our very best. We have Bolt Peak, Dragon Clark, Earthquake, and Fire Thing. Uh, Life Orb with sand, uh, sand Rush. It's Sand Rush. Look at that. Look at that typo right there. It's just, just it's Sand, Sand, Sand Rush. Yeah, sand with the D. Because <laughs> you know he'd be dropping the D. Um, yeah, this is here to outspeed a Dragonite at plus one. And also outspeed a Scarf as a timid max speed. So that way we will be the fastest thing on the field, barring any double Dragon Dances from the Dragonite. But I can, I don't find him a way to be able to do that, especially with Clefable. So yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But Dragozolt is going to be a pretty solid endgame for us to be able to clean up the game. So shout out to Dragozolt. We for sure will do justice in the end of the season moving forward, buddy. I promise. I promise. Next mod that we have is Hippowdon with the sporting the brand new coat of paint. Shout out to Olivia Sama. I love this. I think that she said this is the trans flag colors. I, I think that's awesome. So we're rocking with Hippowdon, cotton candy looking motherfucker. We have uh, Earthquake, Toxic, Slack Off, and Stealth Rock with the Smooth Rock. We want to be able to um, increase the turns that we have our sand for Dragozolt for Sand Rush, um, as well as the special defense boost on Colossal because spoilers, we are bringing Colossal. Uh, Stealth Rock is there for uh, getting up them hazards. Less. I had Whirlwind on this before, um, but put Toxic instead because I feel like it could be better in the end game. But we'll see. Slack off is there for the longevity of this mon. So very fat. It's able to switch in initially to, to Dragonite. So hip out on pretty thick Pokemon. Really excited for it. Again, another Pokemon that I do want to use moving forward where we're not playing like, you know, a small child. Next mon that we have is Slowbro. New addition to the team. I love this Pokemon. Slowbro is so good. We have Skull, Future Sight, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball. Uh, Assault Vest this week to be able to switch into Nidoqueen. Queen. If he is... Modest max special attack. We do get worked by Earth Power plus Thunderbolt, but you know it's the best thing we got for it. At 244 in HP, the rest in Spideff and 68 in special attack. Um, calm nature. So 
yeah, Shadow Ball is there for both of his Psychic types because we can switch in on those. Ice Beam is there for the Zerud, um, as well as the Dragonite. It's called is there to burn stuff, and the Future Sight is there to cast things on the Switch. He does have Zerud, but could be pretty solid. Could be pretty solid. Colossal is the next Pokemon on the team. Last Pokemon that we're gonna be bringing, we have the Naughty List. The Naughty List is coming. Oh, before I do that, check it out. Goons, nickname. Uh, Naughty List Colossal. We have Heat Crash, Rock Blast, Rapid Spin, and Spikes. Heavy Duty Boots, Flame Body Ability to put in Cash and Burns on the Zerud on the U Turn, on the uh, Extreme Speeds on the Dragonite, and etc. Uh, etc. etc. Uh, Heat Crash is there for his uh, Aggron, as well as the Frostlass, as well as the Zerud. Rock Blast is there for Dragonite to break multi skill and still do damage. Uh, Rock Blast is also there for, I believe, super effective damage on the Frost Blast as well, in case that thing is a lead. And then we can bop it with a uh, Focus Ash. So yeah, that is going to be that. Rapid Spin is to get rid of Hazard. Spikes is there to set up our own Hazards. We do have Spikes and Stealth Rock, which is a good solid uh, strength to this team. But, you know, here we are. Uh, that is going to be the team. I'm sorry, guys, if we're a little bit laxed. Um, like I said, mathematically, we are eliminated. So moving forward, it's going to be a little bit more chill here. Uh... We don't even deserve to be in playoffs from how bad we've been playing. The only games that I believe that we would have, that I'm most upset about in the past, last week, obviously, if you guys missed that, I'm going to spoil for you in three, two, one. The fact that we lost due to a hustle miss on Drake Assault was an absolutely brutal, brutal blow to us. And then before that, I, sh I should have beaten Steve. I had no reason to switch out Tangela. Uh, I should have just grass nutted on the uh, substitute and then we would have been just fine. Just, just fine. Let him kill Tangela and then bring in um, Torn the next play and then kill it. So we threw that game. Again, we've just been playing so bad. And, uh, you know, here we are. Here we are. So we're just going to go ahead and tread along this season and see if we can do better moving forward. Hope you guys will stick around for the ride. It's still a good time. We're still going to be acting like fools, having a good time, popping open beers. I don't have a beer on me right now, which is an absolute mistake. I wish I had one right now. I think I have to reamp. So I've been drinking so much on, on stream and uh, on, on video. So, you know. If anything, I view you guys. I, I blame you guys. <laughs> I've been rambling on. We're going to get cut to get connected. It looks like JB is ready, and I'll see you guys over in the matchup. All right, I guess we are in the battle. Um, So he's got some surprising pieces that he brought. He ended up bring, leaving the Azelf and leaving the Gardevoir of all Pokemon on the bench. And instead, he brings War Turtle and Frostlass. So, interesante. Um, yeah, that's... that's uh, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with uh, Trinidad here, I believe. Faster than everything on the field. He probably has got lead spikes. Lead spikes Frostlass would be my guess. We could just click knock off or we could just U-turn out, break the focus sash. Except that he's going to set up spikes and go from there. Or he could have Agron to set up. To set up. I should know what, what I want to do. I should know. Am I going to do that? Yeah. We're going to leave with Torn. My second my second guess would probably be with Hippo. But uh, here we go. Let's get this popping. Here we go. Here we go. We are in the Ghost Stadium today. Feeling super hype. Mad calm. There's Frostlass. Cool. So, Spikes is what I'm assuming. If he's Choice Scarfed and he hits me, it's going to hurt, but shouldn't kill. So, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn here. I could just knock off as well, expecting him to... Let's see. Frostlass. If he's a Spikes lead, he's level 50. Timid max speed to Tornadus. If he has Ice Beam. Has a chance to kill if he's timid. If he's modest, he can knock, he can destroy me. So I'm going to U-turn out. And I'm going to bring in something else. So he's not Scarf. Probably set those spikes. If I were to guess. Cursed body. Okay, so he's Cursed body on the Frost Lance. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so now on this play, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Naughty List. So instead of Azelf, he brings Frost Lance. Frost Lance has... Cursed body. Spikes. Ice beam. Okay. Instead of Gardevoir, he brings a war turtle like a beast. Was that life orb? That was life orb. I didn't see. Alright, so now from here, I'm gonna set up spikes. Pretty safe. Yeah, I'm gonna set up spikes. Gonna be pretty solid for this matchup. I think spikes is gonna be pretty. Pretty, pretty good because he doesn't have a way to defog them unless he has it on Dragonite. 
But in comes the War Turtle. Let's see what he wants to do. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Goons! I didn't get the cut. I don't have custom shiny sprites. We talked about it before with Colossal or with a Slowbro, but I really do like their shinies. I think their shinies are phenomenal. I think the shinies are so, so good. Boss Lass with Ice Beam. Purple Slowbro. Rapid Spin. Okay, that's fine. That is fine with me. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Future Sight. See what he wants to do. Goes for Toxic and he hits. That's fine. So he's got Toxic and he's got Rapid Spin. Toxic. That's mad annoying, not gonna lie. But not the biggest deal in the world. Probably has Scald as well. Would be my guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a Shadow Ball, I believe, and get some damage off on this thing. Maybe he just flip turns out. If he flip turns out, what is he going to? Skull could be nice. In case he wants to bring... What does he bring in here on this, though? Zerud? I would love to burn the Zerud. I'm going to Skull and see if he brings in Zerud. Go from there. He doesn't do anything to me in return. So... Pretty no draw black, no drawback. He stays in and he flip turns, okay. He's bringing his root. Why you gotta be the root? So this, if he does bring in the root here, we got two different chances to burn him. We can burn him here with the Scald, or we can just bring in Colossal and try to get the, the um, flame body burn, which could be pretty solid. Look at big slow bro. Look at big slow bro. Just sitting. Sitting in front of stuff. I'm super happy to have this Pokemon on the team. We have reached the final four for the remainder of the season. I wanted to get either Blastoise or Slowbro in the draft, but both of them, of course, got sniped right before I wanted to take them. So it's cool that I ended up having in the first at, at the end of the game. There it is. Can I get a burn? Can I get a burn? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can we get a burn? Let's go. We take those. We take those. We take those. If he's a special variant, we can eat whatever he wants to go for. Um, I kind of want to hit him with an Ice Beam, to be honest. But then I, I lose my check to Nidoqueen, which is not the smartest thing to do. So, I think from here, I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Colossal. So in comes the Naughty List. Now, Zeru does have access to Stomping Tantrum, but with the Burn, we should be fine. So, we got that play right, which is pretty solid. Good times. Big Colossal, Naughty List. JB, have you been a bad boy? Have you been a bad boy, JB? Jungle Healing! Good bring. Good bring. Zerud, if you have Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum on our Colossal. How much damage do you do? A lot. But, I don't think he wants to stay in, to be honest. I could just go for a Rock Blast, expecting the... Or I can double. I could double. Bring in Trinidad. I'm going to double. I'm going to bring in Torn. If he wants to hit me with the Stomping Tantrum, we'll be fine. Oh, he doesn't have Stomping Tantrum. Sweet! So Zerud has jungle healing. Alright. So in comes this thing. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and you turn out. And I would probably expect him to go for an Ice Beam, would be my guess. Get some chip damage. A little bit of chip, a little bit of chip. And we're going to bring in Goons. See if he goes for Ice Beam. This thing is a threat. <laughs> a threat and a half. A threat and a half. Toxic Spikes. Okay. That's fine. We do have boots on like everything, which is fine. And this is already poisoned, so, you know, it is what it is. So from here, I'm going to pop off a free Scald. 
It's unfortunate that he took the. Uh, I think that the um, future site ended up popping on the Zerudo. Wasn't paying attention if it already did or not. If it didn't, it should be coming pretty soon. I think it's two turns, two full turns. I did future sight. Scald. Could be this turn. In comes the frost last. Okay. Get some more chip damage on this thing. Cursed body is my scald, which is fine. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Bring in the naughty list. I just need to get everything chipped down in range of Drake result. That's the game. That's the game plan. That is the game plan. This thing is like not as useful to him as much anymore. I think he drops the knockoff, to be honest, from Torm, which is really nice. And he's slower because I confirmed that turn one. Shadow Ball. I should be able to eat this. Uh, From 187 down to a lot, that is a crit. Nice. Love to fucking see it. You love to fucking see it, dude. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go for a Rock Blast on this turn. You'd love to see it. Goes for spikes. Okay. Spikes, toxic spikes on the field. Rock blast. Down goes the frost slice. So he did curse body us, which sucks. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Colossal kills frost slice. Not gonna lie, that crit, kind of annoying. TBH. Crit, kind of annoying. Alright, so he has Dragonite, War Turtle, Zerud, Nidoqueen, Queen, and Aggron left. Sheldon, here comes War Turtle. Alright, how useful is this to me? Pretty. For Zerud. Pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Goons again, I believe. This is gonna be unrecoverable chip damage. Just to go as often as possible. Just chip this thing down. Toxic, rapid spin, flip turn. Maybe he can go for toxic. He's probably gonna go for a flip turn, to be honest. Flip turn would be a good play. Scald? Okay, that's fine. So he has revealed all four moves. Alright. Cool beans. So from here, I'm going to. I'm a Shadow Ball on this turn. If he brings in Zerud, we'll just bring in Colossal. If he brings in Zerud, we'll just bring in Colossal, not a big deal. Get a little bit of chip damage, a little bit of chip. I do want to get rocks up at some point. I do want to get rocks up at some point. There's Zerud. This is going to do like five. <laughs> this is going to do like five. All right, cool. There's my five points of damage. <laughs> Is leftovers. I, should, I didn't catch that last time, so that's cool. Leftovers roots is probably a bulky variant. That didn't do much, actually. Should have been doing. Uh, that's all right. Red pivot. Bring in Colossal. If he goes for U turn, we get a chance to burn. He does have jungle healing, which is really annoying, though. So we'll see. Regenerator, though, coming in absolute clutch. I want to get up Hazard at some point, even though he could rapid spin them away. Not the biggest deal. Not the biggest deal. Let's see if he gets Naga Burn here. Probably goes for a Power Whip. Power Whip. Power Whip. Darkest Lariat. Okay. Burn? No burn. Okay. So I'm going to go for a Heat Crash on this play. He crash is going to be nice. Darkest Lariat pops. Does this kill? It does. That's fine. Do we get a burn? 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 No burn. Unfort. Unfort. Zarud. Kills. Colossal. Alright, so we're going to bring in Trinidad here, I believe. Yeah, or we could just bring in Esperanza. We could do that. Or we could just bring in turn to that. Go for a U-turn. Do some big damage to this. 
Okay. Look at Big Torin. It's my son, Trinidad. So Trinidad that is the middle name of Roman. So I'm actually gonna go for a knockoff here. Yeah, let's knock off. This team does not stay in. There's no way in hell this thing stays in. Yeah, we're gonna go for a free knockoff. <laughs> Sheldon, okay, get rid of this thing's EV light. That's really nice. So this thing can't hit me with really anything. So what's to stop me from going for Hurricane? So Torn for War Turtle. I'm assuming that he's like max defense or max HP or something, like a bulkier set. Hurricane does 40 to 40, uh, that's actually with Eevee Light if he has no item. Does a fuck ton. Let's go for it. He doesn't have Ice Beam. Let's go for Hurricane. We do hit. Good stuff, Torn. Do you get a... Nope, no problem. No, 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 no confusion. Get a lot of damage off on that, which is really nice. No Eevee Light. And that thing is like super worn down. Cool. Uh, Nidal Queen probably comes out. Would be my guess. Flapper. What is Flapper? That is this thing. Okay. I'm going to do turn and break your mold steel. Or I could just go for an icy wind. I think would be pretty solid. And that'll keep you from setting up, honestly. Dragonite. Level 50. Do you set up here? Fly doesn't do much to me. I don't know what you want to do to me. I'm going to go for Icy Wind. Do you have Ice Punch? We're faster? If he's weakness policy, we'll be fine. Because we have Unaware on Clef. Iron Tail. Okay, so you expect the Clef to come in. Oh, we live. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna switch for in case he's got extreme speed. So we're bringing Chomper. Because of the iron tail threat. That's mad funny. That's crazy. So we did drop his speed. He's minus one speed. Probably adamant damage. They did a lot. They did a lot. We do set up the sand for Drake's ult, which is really nice. With the draws. Okay. Brings in Sheldon. Alright, I'm gonna Earthquake this thing in the face. Or should I switch? What's to keep me from switching? Why, why should I not Why should I not keep this around? Am I right? He's gonna go for Scald. I'm bringing goons. I'm bringing goons. There's no reason not to. Why take damage on this? You know what I mean? And then he gets chip damage from the sand. Cool. We focused, boys. We focused. Scald. Yep. This does jack shit to the goons. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right. Does he let this thing die? My guess would be yes. My guess would be yes. Uh, I can scald. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna scald. He withdraws. Bring in Zerud? Question mark? Alright, this is gonna force a jungle healing if we can get a burn. Can we get a burn, 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 burn. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Now we can bring in a uh, Torn for free. Uh, Darkest Lariat? I think at 33%, because I had 7. <laughs> Seven damage, so he's burnt. He's rude. Why you gotta be so rude? I love the nickname. Love the nickname, JD. Uh, if you are burned, I'm a amigo, and if you are max attack, jolly. Uh, power whip doesn't kill. Darkest Larry has a chance to kill. I'm gonna switch your other way to get some health on this again, and I'm gonna bring in Esperanza in case he goes for the Darkest Larry. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Esperanza on this play. I don't want to risk getting hit with the Darkest Larry and dying. Pose a double. Flapper. Oh! Oh! Big brain blaze! <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> Disclaimer, I didn't do that on purpose, but hey, we'll take it. 
What? Check, cop this clef, boy. Cop this clef, boy. Shout out to the heavy duty boo. Shout out to OG Albina. Shout out to Owen. I love that guy. He actually took a look at the team. He's like, nah, your team sucks. Shut this out. <laughs> and I agree with him. So, uh, he, I can go for a free moon blast. I'm going to teleport, actually. I can see him bringing in a, bringing in a, yeah. I can see him bringing in a Nidoqueen. Queen. Beef. Beef. Air balloon. Air balloon aggron. Air balloon. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in, I can't bring in Chomper. I'm going to bring in Goons. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And I think I am going to double back out again. Or I can go for a Scald. Let's go for Scald. Break the air balloon. Hit whatever wants to come in. Yeah. Head smash. He hits. Oh! This is going to kill. Oh, it doesn't kill. Oh, it's, this can run it out of sand and toxic, which is unfortunate. You got to burn on this too? Oh! Toxic. Fucking unfortunate. All right. So we do, we do die to our own sand, which sucks. Uh, slow bro dies to sand. Okay, so now from here, I can bring a thicky cheese. Yeah. Let's bring a thicky cheese. And let's check to see how much sand turns I have left. So we do take the poison and we do take stealth um, spikes. So let's check to see how many turns of sand that we have left. We have two. Okay. I can do one of two things. I can... F I'm an Earthquake, I think. He could bring in Dragonite, but then I can just Dragon Claw the subsequent turn. Or I can just Bolt Beak his ass. Does Bolt Beak kill? I would assume so. He's pretty offensive from how much that Head Smash did. We have some time here. If he's... Yeah, dude. Bolt Beak kills. He's max attack. I'm gonna go for Bolt Beak. He withdraws. We're gonna get some massive damage. Sheldon, this is gonna drop. All right, so he sacks off the War Turtle, which is fine. Drake result. Kills. War Turtle, I'm sorry, Kirby. <laughs> when you watch this video, I'm sorry, bro. We're in a pretty solid position. We are gonna have limited turns on our Drake result because of all this um spike and toxic spike shenanigan crap. But I think we're we're gonna be just fine. Do I kill you here, or do you have sugar berry? You probably have sugar berry. Would be my guess. Do you have sugar berry? Ice beam is a no drawback play. For him, ice beam is a pretty solid play on his part. I'm gonna bring in Esperanza. I'm gonna bring in Clefable. I am. Because I do wanna keep Drake's ult around. Goes for EQ, he's physical. He is physical. We chew that up. That is best case scenario. Absolute best case scenario. Okay. I'm gonna softball to stay healthy. Poison jab. Yeah, but you're physical. I'm fine. Oh, that still kill? That still kills. Jesus Christ. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna bring in Tuna Dad and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the uh whatever item he's got. Yeah. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, I'm gonna knock off. He 
He's physical Nidoqueen. Okay. Probably brings in the aggro on here. Beef, yeah. Go for knockoff. Does nothing because he already lost his item. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and U-turn out. Get some more chip damage. Get a little bit more healthy on our on our Torn. So he's got Poison Jab. And Earthquake. And he does not have Life Orb. I'm assuming he probably has Sugar Berry. Go for U-turn here. My concern is if he does have the uh, Earth, the uh, Sugar Berry on the Nidoqueen, Queen, so we have to get some chip damage first. So we're bringing Chomper. We have to play this pretty carefully here, guys. Pretty, pretty carefully. Head smash, and he misses, which is great for us. To be honest, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heal up on this play. Yeah, I'm going to heal up. We're going to slack off. We are regular poison. We're not toxic poison, which is really nice. And I think that Hippo is going to be a big part of what we do moving forward. Hippo is going to be a huge part of what we do moving forward. He's shown to have Iron Tail on this thing. Okay. So I kind of want to toxic this thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to bring Trinidad. See what he wants to do. Goes for a Dragon Claw. Okay, so he doesn't set up. That's fine. So now we can bring in Thicky Cheese. Yeah. Alright, so let's write that down. Sorry if I'm quiet, guys. I'm just thinking more of the end game here. Uh, D9 killed. I'm not gonna write that down right now. Alright, so. From here, I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw, I believe. Is the play. Yeah, let's go for a D Claw. If he has E Speed, he's probably gonna go for it here. He withdraws. Okay. Probably Agron? Beef. Alright. Does this 2 a KO? Ideally, it does. It is not 2 a KO. That's fine. So, I'm going to go for what here? Hmm. I could Bolt Beak. Or I could Earthquake. I'm going to Earthquake here. If he brings back in Dragonite, he's the GOAT. Alright. The chip is going to suck, honestly. All this chip is going to suck. So now, Hip Hippo is looking pretty good here, though. Hippo is looking pretty solid. If he's got Shookaberry, I have to pop in now. I have to stay in. I don't know what the Dragonite has aside from Iron Tail. And Dragon Claw. So in comes this. Okay. If he has E Speed, I can switch. I'm bringing Chomper. See if he has E Speed. He probably does. Honestly, he probably does. So I'm going to switch here. He's going to take a little bit more chip. He does have extreme speed. Okay. Take a little bit more sand chip. So from here, I do have to slack off. Unfortunately. He withdraws. He brings in Nidoqueen. 
Oh, Zerud. I forgot Zerud was still here. I forgot about that Pokemon. He is burnt, though, which is actually really nice. Being burnt on that thing is actually really nice. So I'm just going to whittle it down as much as I possibly can. If he has jungle healing, it probably goes for it here. I could make... I don't live around spikes. The jungle healing is actually gonna... Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have let Torn go down. Because bulk up. That's GG. Yeah, because I let Torn go down, I'm gonna lose this game. Yeah. Do I live around a... S hmm. I don't have Whirlwind. I took Whirlwind off and I put Toxic on there. That's gonna be... Uh, I have to hope he goes for another bulk up here. But I can't. I, I'm gonna lose this game because I can't. I can't. The spikes are up, so I'm gonna take damage on on Drakozol here. Yeah, I lost this game when I lose. When I let Torn go down. I lost this game when I let Torn go down. Yeah. Yeah, I tossed this game when I let Torn go down. I mean, maybe? We'll see. He's gonna go for Power Whip here, he has to. I'm gonna go for Toxic. But I threw this game when I let, I let Torn go down. That's game. That's GG. Good game to JB. Uh, I didn't think that with through. That was on me. But that is... Damn. That sucks. Uh, great game to JB. Do me a massive favor, guys. Head down to the description below and check him out. Watch this out of the battle. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I think I just tossed this when I let Zerud go down. But, you know, it is what it is. We're just playing to have a good time at this point. It's been that kind of season, so... Uh, this is definitely a winnable game, but I... Did not I didn't think the whole end game out through. I should have kept whirlwind. But yeah, this is what it is. If you guys did enjoy, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the heck up out of here. Have a great rest of your day and above all else, be nice. Peace.